Hi everyone. I think today I'm going to talk about the idea that people who are interested in traditional witchcraft are policing witchcraft. Apparently a lot of people in the community think that traditional witches are policing witchcraft and who can use the word witch. Uh, no, that's, at least as far as I'm concerned, that's not the case. You know, as far as who I am, what I'm doing, and my thoughts. That is not the case. What I am doing is trying to expand people's understanding as to what witchcraft is and can be. You know, a lot of people think that they, they get their... They get annoyed with the idea that, you know, Wicca is not witchcraft. And what they often do when they hear this or they try to make these statements that, like, well, Wicca is witchcraft because that's what the word means. If you look etymologically speaking, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Historically speaking, etymology. When you look up the history of the word, Wicca does, in fact, mean witch, you know, witchcraft. Um, in the modern day, you know, words change over time. Because, you know, that's what happens with words and language. It develops. Uh, right now, Wicca means an earth-based, you know, fertility, goddess, religion, all that kind of shit that you know already and I don't need to explain to you. Okay, that's what Wicca means in today's context. In most of the context, in most of the, the, the conversations we have regarding Wicca, that's what Wicca means. You know, when they say they practice Wicca, people are practicing the religion of Wicca. Okay? Wicca is a religion that incorporates witchcraft into its practices. If you make the argument that Wicca is also witchcraft, by default, because it is a religion, you are then saying that any religion that has magic involved in it is also witchcraft. Eh! Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, it is a religion. It has beliefs, it has deities, it has holidays. You all call yourselves priests and priestesses, blah, 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 blah. It's a fucking religion. And I know that's not a dispute, but it is a religion. But it is a religion that also incorporates witchcraft. And I know that witchcraft in itself is this very nebulous term that doesn't really have a specific meaning. But generally, witchcraft deals with, you know, working with spirits, works, you know, spell casting, magic, using herbs, and divination. Okay, using divination and employing divination. Okay, it is a combination of all these things. And historically, that's pretty accurate, historically speaking. You know, it's across the board... You know, that's generally when the witch is cited as being a witch, because, you know, no one calls themselves a witch, at least not in the past. They didn't. A witch was a pejorative, and not many people actually call themselves witches as a, as a thing. And that was like something you didn't want to be called, okay? Nowadays, however, it's a, you know, a term people self-identify with, and they throw around a lot. But, you know, we do know that witchcraft is separate from religion, okay? We know that it's a thing on its own, okay? All religions practice magic in some form. Not all religions necessarily practice witchcraft. Wicca does. Wicca practices witchcraft, okay? But do we need to get into a history of Wicca and a breakdown of it and how it's a syncretic religion that is built up of practices that come from directly from Freemasonry and the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. And there's a lot of OTO in there too. Which they're all kind of the same thing in their own way. Um, I could do a whole video just on the breakdown of Wicca as a system. And I probably should. Honestly. But in regards to policing witchcraft. No. Not policing witchcraft. And I don't think anyone else is policing witchcraft. I think that people who bitch about others policing witchcraft um i think they're just showing their asses honestly you know they're they're like i said in the previous video they just they know they know that they're wrong they know that something's up they just don't want to say it you know times are changing 
that's fine. Times are changing. Times change. That's what time does. Time changes. And, you know, right now, things are changing. Our understandings about witchcraft and what a modern practice can look like are changing. They're redefining themselves. Okay, Wicca is no longer, you know, necessarily an initiatory system. Granted, you have, you know, British traditional witchcraft, which apparently some people have an issue with that phrase too. But generally speaking, when you look at British traditional witchcraft online, you find plenty of articles that definitely imply that British traditional witchcraft is referring to like Gardnerian practice or Gardnerian Wicca and Alexandrian and, you know, all those lineaged traditions that grew forth from what Gerald Gardner did. You know, to also, to also emphasize this claim that Wicca is witchcraft, which it's not. You know, people will cite how many times Gardner may have used the actual term Wicca in his books, and I believe it's only twice. Um, and the fact that uh, Gardner said he was a practicing witch, yeah, who gives a shit? Or that Gardner titled Witchcraft Today, Witchcraft Today, he didn't call it Wicca Today. Like, no, because if you know anything about publishing, you use terms that are going to grab people. And at the time that that book was published, the word Wicca is not really going to grab people as much as the word witchcraft. But Wicca has developed. It has turned into this very open thing. Granted, there's still initiatory systems, uh, lineage traditions, what have you, that are a little bit more closed off, and that's fine. Um, well, Wicca is a religion. It is an eclectic practice. It is very open. It is very public. It is, it is also very mainstream. So no one's policing the use of witchcraft. It's just that our understanding of witchcraft is developing. It's growing. We're getting a much better understanding of it. And because of that understanding, it's revealing that we're learning that a system like Wicca, which is war which works and is fine, and some a lot of people are into it, but we learn that, you know, we know rather, that witchcraft is in in fact not bound to religion, not bound to religious dogma. Okay? It in itself is not a religion. It's a practice. It's a practice which can lead people into having a religion, okay, through their own experiences, through their own beliefs, and incorporating their own beliefs by embellishing their worldview and incorporating their witchcraft into their worldview and into their practice. You start to get a religion. That's what happens. By default, that's what happens. Also, what we tend to find with these types of conversations is people arguing that Gardner didn't create Wicca. Okay, it's a weird semantic game. Did he create it whole cloth? No, it developed over time. A lot of people had their hands in it. Him, he started it, obviously. Uh, you know, people like the site, the whole New Forest Coven, him coming out of this coven that he was initiated into, which is such a funny story. Because really that could have been just, for, for example, could have been just a group of people practicing in their living room and initiated him that that's what it could have easily been and if you know anything about the history of it you know that whatever he got from that coven whatever book he got from that coven was incomplete he himself admitted it it was incomplete so what does that mean it means either one he didn't have rights to the rest of the material or two they were making shit up as they were going along and they never actually finished. So what did he do? He filled in material. Okay, he filled in the material using Crowley and what have you. Okay. Anyone who is familiar with 19th century occultism, like like they're familiar with Freemasonry, for example, they're familiar with the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn and Aleister Crowley, and they're especially if they're familiar with the history of Gardner himself as a person, can easily see that what Wicca is is an, is an expression of who he was as a person. You know, the Ritual Knife, for example, the Athame. Coincidentally enough, his first book was about a Ritual Knife called the Chris and other Malay, Malayan weapons. Um, this was long before he even got involved in witchcraft. He wrote this book when he was an amateur anthropologist. 
You know, I, I, it boggles my mind, especially even after like Ronald Hutton's book, Triumph of the Moon. It boggles my mind when anyone still makes the claim that Gardner didn't create it. It is totally a fabrication. Okay? It's not, not that it doesn't work, but it's a total fabrication. He created it. He, he and other people threaded together a very a valid working system. Okay? A valid initiatory system that is based in a, in a large format that initiates people into the fold. You know, it's, it is what it is. And I just, I, I am always boggled by when people don't know this or they, they try to make, they still try to perpetuate that idea that this was something he received. He didn't receive, he received like jack shit from the coven he was in. You know, it, God, so many things that people say. You know, they bring up Dorothy Clutterbuck. Yeah, she existed. They know she existed. They don't know what her, her part was, really. They maybe suspect that she let them use her house for the initiation. But that's about it. Okay, they, they just don't know. There's so many bullshit claims and things that people throw around. It's a shame. The people who should know better. So no one is trying to police witchcraft. Uh, you know, if you're interested in what I have to say, if you like what I had to say, and you're interested in hearing more, being alerted to, um, when other videos come out, just, you know, click on this little symbol over here, and then I'll help you subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below if you uh, want to engage in some dialogue with me or others. Uh, anyway, I'd like to hear what you have to say and what you think. Peace.